Let's start with a fruit and vegetable shortage. This week, Lidl joined a growing list of supermarkets, putting restrictions on the number of tomatoes, peppers and cucumbers we can buy. But could growing vegetables indoors under completely artificial light offer a solution and make our supplies more resilient? Georgia Poncha has been to a new vertical farm in Thanet. More crop in less space all year round. There's a new way of farming at Grow Up in Sandwich. Inside our growing chambers on the farm, we have vertically stacked layers of benches where we're growing crops. And on each layer, we're providing those plants with the exact light spectrum that they need from LED lights, with the right nutrients that they need through the irrigation system. And we're controlling the temperature and humidity to give each of those crops the exact growing conditions that they need. So could this be the solution to the current food shortages? Food here can be grown whatever the weather, and the facilities are powered by renewable energy from a close-by biofuel factory, which means they are protected from increasing gas prices, which have hit greenhouse growers. Grow Up is also now looking at how they can produce other crops like tomatoes, a fruit that's been in short supply recently on supermarket shelves. You go in with a shopping list and you go, they haven't got that, they haven't got that, they haven't got that. And it tends to be the fresh fruit and veg. Sometimes you go in a shop when you don't expect it and the shelves are empty. And you think, oh, that doesn't look too good. But that's how it comes and goes, and I think you have to expect that. It's making me source other things and making me a bit more adventurous about what I put on the table, maybe. The government say that the shortage in fruit and veg is largely down to bad weather in Spain and North Africa, in places where we usually import fruit and veg from at this time of year. Farmers here in the UK also have had to cut back on their crops, as high energy prices have meant that greenhouses are more expensive to heat. If we want more fruit and veg grown here in the UK, farmers say they need help with energy prices and access to renewable energy, and more confidence they'll be paid a fair price for what they grow. They say while vertical farming is exciting and full of potential, it's a multi-million pound investment which not all farmers can afford, and a method not every crop is suited to. Right now it's got to be those high return, high value crops, ones that you can harvest many times a year. So for instance, it wouldn't suit me as a wheat grower, and we're actually really set up, well set up to do that in field scale with nine metre wide combines, that, and the, of course the crop takes nine months plus to grow. The NFU say they're keen to protect more traditional growing, but that vertical farms are a welcome technology to help ensure the future of food security in the UK.